Hello, welcome to another impartial theorist. Oh, and I misspelled tariff. One R. I put two. I put two R's on one F for not trying to fix it. I did. Let's start again. <laughs> let's do. Let's do the whole thing again. Hello, welcome to another impartial theorist. Got a lot on the docket this week. Yeah. Starting off with Sinclair Broadcasting. Yeah. We first heard about it last year on John Oliver's show, and recently. There was this like superimposed, not superimposed, this montage of videos by Sinclair employees, basically newscasters. It's all saying the same shit that was written for them by by Sinclair. And basically, John Oliver already talked about the must haves, the must run segments, and now they have like written manifestos and written statements that the employees must read. And basically, somebody posted it on Twitter and the shit went viral. And this, this is, is extremely, extremely dangerous, dangerous to our democracy. democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our 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 black woman. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Her eyes tell a different fucking story. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely it's always dangerous to our democracy. A man and a woman, though. This is extremely dangerous well, that's, to our that's democracy. Just how this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. God, I can't even this handle is the same one. Dangerous to our democracy. Okay, can you, can you imagine hearing that shit from a uh. news organization that you trust? <coughs> Especially if you believe everything they fucking say, because you've been watching them for twenty years. Like that's fucking creepy. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. See, the thing is, is like it's all the the. the bigger context here because honestly that there's nothing really wrong with that is saying that you know yeah but they're doing using it to cover their own asses yeah the problem is it's just like they are doing that and like as it has been exposed in the past is that there's a lot of stories that are must get run at these local mm-hmm. news stations they, that are they coming have down from the top shit. so segments of just people spouting bullshit but but in in the uh I don't know, the president or CEO or something of Sinclair responded basically talking about how print is just completely liberal bias. I think I think this was a calculated move. It's a multi-layer move because they knew somebody would notice it eventually. And it's not still not going to hurt the people that are watching it. So most of them won't give a fuck. So it's, the only people who's hurting are the newscasters who don't want to say that shit. And yeah. the liberal people who are freaking out. And that just makes people... It like it, it just it just ups their ante because they're also trying to get an approval by from Trump to buy 190 more stations, making them the biggest fucking like, um, local news station owner in the country. Yeah, yeah, and Trump definitely like backed them up. He jumped in. Yeah, because in here this and... <laughs> this whole thing was a suck up to him, and a wink, wink. It's, it's trolling. Yeah, yeah. It, it's flat out trolling to please Trump, yeah. and it got his fake attention. Fake news, fake news. Yeah. Yes, we're acknowledging fake news. We're calling it out. Hint, hint. Wink, wink. Yeah. Trump. <laughs> it also like Trump. fuck you to yep. the liberals because it's yo, it's a brilliant move. Yeah, you gotta applaud it when you when, like this like yeah. It's fucking brilliant. Yeah, and then so I mean the like that's I mean, some I next guess... level corporate thinking though. Yo, they're gonna get this deal. Yeah, Shit. hell yeah. They basically just bought a monopoly by trolling America. <laughs> Props to them. Shit, I know it's fucked Seriously. up, but fuck. Props to them. If I really wanted, like, yo, that's a brilliant business move. Because all in all, they're just in there to serve their interest. If pleasing Trump serves your interest, fuck it. People do that shit in my country all the time. So why am I waiting out when he's being done here? <laughs> shit. Props. Yeah, so Sinclair's got this down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess we can expect a lot more uh, independent, non-biased. Yeah. And now you've got all <laughs> the Trump Both sides people. reported local journalism. Yeah. Our, TV stations all owned by one corporation. Well, 
<laughs> no on. irony there whatsoever. Moving on to the next Trump shit. Um, he wants to slap a hundred billion dollar tariff on China, effectively speeding up the oncoming trade war between not, not just China. China's the main like target, but basically the EU too, just to fuck you to everybody. And that seems to be the theme of our episodes. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, it seems like we've been told it's not going to be a trade war. This isn't a trade it's war. It's already a fucking it trade war. It seems to be turning into a trade war. Uh, I mean, I've heard that China doesn't have as much leverage. No, nah, they have all the leverage. They have all the leverage. Because it's, it's going to impact the auto industry, which, as we, we, we learned before, the auto industry kind of impacts the whole country. Yeah, but I mean, no, but China's putting t- their own tariffs on U.S. Yeah, goods. and and you, the U.S. basically everywhere else in the world really wants to sell cars to China. Fucking Chrysler makes China only cars. Almost every, almost every fucking like car car maker makes China only cars. Rolls Royce makes China only cars. Like China's a huge market. That's why every like year of the 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 years the. Year of the dog, year of the cow, that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. They make special editions just for fucking China. Literally, even motorbikes, like, is wild. Yeah. There's so many fucking people in China. Yeah, if, but I mean, as far as, like, the trade deficit, like... Yeah, he says stolen property, intellectual property, which is true, but... Yeah, that's like, something that definitely everybody knows is going on, I mean... Yeah, because... There's all they have lax, They have lax copyright Chinese... Laws tech companies that have just yeah. blown up and taken over the Chinese market. Yeah. Not even that. They can they can copy anything anybody does because those co- their copyright laws are so fucking relaxed against foreign Yeah, I mean, shit. I think they basically don't exist yet yeah. for foreign they, they, I think so. they do that on purpose. And now now that America is telling, basically trying to always trying to force them to increase the copyright laws, they're like, nah, why are these fucking Americans trying to imp- like force their... their their beliefs on us so well, fuck you yeah and also i mean all these corporations move to china to get this cheap labor mm. and then they all learned how to build these phones and computers and stuff and it's like now we're like yeah. oh, you can't copy us you can't use this technology it's like, like they fucking build it even, even clothes like, yeah like maybe i it's hard it's to like sympathize for the corporations because it's like well maybe if you wanted to keep your intellectual property under wraps you shouldn't be building everything outside of the country <laughs> yeah it's gonna fuck with everything like yeah. on a side note Trump is also going on Amazon so basically this is dumb as shit I thought Trump was gonna come on Amazon for one of the many things he could actually come at them for like lack of tax paying He's, he came at them for saying that he's cost, that they're costing the U.S. Postal Service a fucking fortune. When, low-key, that's not true. The Postal Service themselves came out and said it's not true. And Trump has still been attacking Bezos on Twitter for a minute. He's saying that they serve as the delivery boy uh, delivery boy for, for Amazon. Which, like, they do that for so many fucking companies. Like, that's just how shit works. And he's saying that they, they that basically doing that... They're doing most of the work for them, and they're not even providing the majority of the revenue from. Like they're saying, they're saying the percentages don't match up. So after he tweeted that, Amazon lost. Amazon stock fell 11%, cost them fucking billions. But I think I think it it came up 41% hmm. after 41 points after. after. It came up, that's this 3% though. So he made us drop fucking 8%. But he's blaming him for closing brick and mortar stores, basically. Yeah. No, that's what the consumers decided they wanted to do. <laughs> that's a I weird. mean, Amazon became, didn't, it wasn't forced on people yeah. to start buying their stuff online. It's just. Amazon, Amazon isn't killing small business. Amazon is killing. Other big businesses like Walmart and shit. Small yeah. businesses will survive because people don't always, always want to go to a Walmart, but don't want to, to get shit where the service isn't that good. Or they can go to a fucking local store 
and get the best shit for cheap prices too. Yeah, I mean, a Walmart basically is a Amazon because yeah, you're not yeah. gonna get like any kind of specialized service. Yeah, there, where you have to walk, which is like, yeah, yeah, you have to well, actually go there. So why why would you just do the shit that you can do from your computer or even from a fucking button? You yeah, we well, gotta button. wait a couple days at least. So. Yeah, but just click the button two days earlier. Yeah, you can well, have I mean, a that's box what I'm saying. Time. That's why a lot of people decide to go that route, including yeah. me. He's going to Walmart is a trip. Yeah, anyway. But so Bezos is saying he's not going to engage with the president. Yeah. Which. He's, he's also saying that they pay little or no taxes to state and local government. And he says that's bullshit because they pay taxes. Well, that was a thing. States. When nah. it, that was a few years ago, and then the yeah. states are making them pay. I mean, I think every time I order something on Amazon, there's a state collected tax added yeah. to it. So, and I mean, I remember that was like a few years ago that like states and um, Congress started saying, "Hey, they got to pay their fair share," and then it started happening. So, yeah, they pay in forty six states. So there you the, go. The only thing that they don't pay taxes on. Is they don't they don't um, collect taxes on third party sellers. So somebody who's selling through Amazon doesn't pay taxes. Yeah, and that's that's not Amazon. That's the people. Uh-huh. They're I just mean. using the Amazon loophole. So technically, well, they don't they don't pay taxes on a big chunk of their business, but it's not their business yeah I mean that's exactly making, I mean yeah they're making probably a cut of that but yeah. and they pay taxes on that so yeah well then I don't know it's up to the states or the congress to yeah because if they make a way to do that or make yeah, them they, do it they, you're not attacking that <coughs> they're saying Amazon doesn't pay taxes <coughs> if, if they said the third party should pay taxes that's an easy fix yeah it's just like the sales tax on the end of your shit. Just put that same sales tax on third party shit. Well, I mean, also at the post office. I don't really know what the story is behind that, but I would imagine he's, that they're getting a lot of business. I mean, why yeah, would they be subsidizing? He's, he's, he's saying that the taxes, the, ta- the taxes that they pay, that would percent of the taxes that they pay that would go to the post office is insignificant. So it's not in- insufficient. I said insignificant. What the fuck? Yeah. Mm-hmm gonna go on for a minute because that's Trump's new muse he needs something somebody to bash at so yeah let him do his thing well Bezos is gonna sit this around now we'll see if Bezos it happens will probably again win. you see he probably sees Trump as like this fucking underling in a world of like capitalists yeah I think Bezos is Trump is kind of nothing to him yeah. but He's the president right now, so he's got yeah. that. <laughs> no. Bezos could jump into politics. Nah, he'll lose. Yeah, he doesn't really have the, he's too, the persona. Yeah. He's kind of a weird dude. <laughs> but being a billionaire makes you a weird dude. Even fucking Loki, you gotta admit, even Oprah is kind of weird. You just lose touch, you know, because yeah. you're so removed from, like... You're in your own bubble. Yeah. It's not your fault. Like, that shit's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just... You're a fucking billionaire. You can't yeah. be just out. Like, shit. Oprah trying to walk down the street. She get mobbed by a fucking white woman. Not that other people don't love her, but white women love her more. <laughs> yeah, they gentrified Oprah. Appropriated her. Yeah. <laughs> That's a gentrification. What's Conor McGregor up to? Dana White said that 20 hoodlums they flew in from Ireland mm-hmm. gained access to the arena thanks to people on the inside who were covering the event for McGregor's company. The confrontation came when the McGregor entourage attacked a bus filled with fighters and staffers, including Nurma Gomedov, as the bus to leave Barclays Center following Thursday's media event. Quote, these buses are full of a ton of fighters and their cornermen. And they're just throwing things into the windows, not caring who they hit. Oh, so he was provoked. I just realized why. <coughs> Apparently, dude 
the dude, the, the dude with the long ass end name, the whatever the fuck he's called, I don't yeah, give a fuck. Uh, yeah, he, he slapped so. one of Conor McGregor's, um, like, he slapped Conor McGregor's training partner, and it was caught on camera. It was earlier this week, and apparently it's not just some wrestling shit. It happened for real. Well, yeah, that was. I don't know if it was McGregor's spokesman, but they said they, he felt it was justified. Yeah, or... yeah, which makes sense. And he's still unapologetic. He said, fuck it. It seemed like <coughs> nobody fucking knew why this shit happened. <coughs> no one fucking explained why. They just showed the shit he was doing. Like, Loki, in context, it doesn't seem... It's fucked up. Yeah. But, like, it makes sense why he was angry. <laughs> but he really flew in 20 dudes over a slap. God, he, he's, he's, he recently got $100 million for fighting Mug, uh, Mayweather. And he got fined $600 for this shit. And he turned himself in so he doesn't give a fuck. And that makes a lot of sense when you when you look at his previous <coughs> fucking history. The crazy <coughs> shit that he did. Like... He doesn't give a fuck about turning himself in. He once he once got a speeding ticket, and I think he was going over 100, and he fucking turned himself in and said, um, "Come and get me." Yeah, he's just a badass, right? I mean, that's. He's, I think yeah, I think it's not just. I don't think he's posturing. I think he just doesn't give a fuck. But he's also said a bunch of racist shit, like calling his opponent a Nazi. Um. Yeah, he fighting with his boss and saying saying somebody was mentally deranged, like mentally ill, like autistic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, honestly, the thing this guy probably says off the camera, like I'm sure he just has like a foul yeah. mouth <laughs> and like foul personality. So yeah, and I mean, the thing is, is yeah, he's. He's like racially insensitive. I feel yeah, like he more doesn't than a racist, fuck. but he just he doesn't care, yeah. and he says a bunch of fucked up shit because of it. But well, <laughs> it's Conor McGregor. This shit, he's gonna probably gonna get much more fights out of this shit. Like in UFC, no, it's the same thing as wrestling. Even if it's real, it's still bringing a lot of hype, even more hype because it's real. It's not some fake um, Undertaker versus Kane shit in wrestling that you know is fucking fake. Yeah. This like they want to kill like McGregor cut somebody's face open, like seriously. It's <laughs> publicity. Yeah, it is real. So shit, I would watch that match. I would stream it. I wouldn't pay a hundred dollars on HBO, but I'd find an illegal stream and watch that match. Maybe see some ads. Oh shit. Spin another partial theorist. Be <laughs> back with some more bullshit next week. Yeah.